Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools. Today, we will start with the chapter of biology, plants, form, and functions. In this module, we will study about different types of plants. Classification of plants based on their size, structure, lifespan, etc. Here we will study about herbs, shrubs and trees. We will know about climbers and creepers. We will study annual, biennial and perennial plants. And we will study about flowering and non-flowering plants. Introduction to plants. Students, you all know that plants are all around us. They grow on land as well as in water. The plants growing on land are called terrestrial plants. The plants growing in water are called aquatic plants. Plants are immovable, immotile living organisms all around us. They help sustain life on earth by producing food and are the primary food producers. Plants give out oxygen that we breathe during the process of photosynthesis. They are mostly green in color and use sun as a source of energy to make food. It has been estimated by scientists that there are around more than 3 lakh plants. Now let's classify the plants on the basis of their size and structure. Plants are divided basically into herbs, shrubs and trees. Let's find out what are herbs. These are plants that have green, soft and frail stems. Usually, these are small plants with not many branches in it. They are less than one meter high. Some common examples of herbs are basil, coriander, mint, mustard, wheat, paddy, maize, grass, tomato and seasonal flowering plants. Shrubs. Shrubs. These are hard, medium-sized woody plants which are about 1 to 3 meters high with their branches generally originating from the base of their stems. These are much taller than the herbs but usually shorter than the trees. Some common examples of shrubs are bougainvillea, rose plant, jasmine plant, lemon, henna, etc. Trees. These are the plants which are very tall and have a thick, hard and woody stems. They are more than 3 meters high. The branches originate from the upper part of the tree and are very high above the ground, forming a canopy of branches. Some common examples of trees around you are neem, banyan, coconut, mango, gulmohar, palm, etc. It is very interesting to know the banyan tree has a large number of branches and gives out roots from its branches which seems to be new trunks. Actually, these are roots. Thus, a single tree spreads over a large area. The great banyan tree in the Indian Botanical Garden in Howrah, Kolkata is said to be 250 years old. It has about 230 trunks as large as oak trees and about 3,000 smaller ones. Isn't it amazing, students? Now, let's summarize 
the herbs, shrubs and trees in a tabular form. Let's see the features. If you talk about size, herbs, they are small, usually less than one meter. Shrubs, they are medium sized, usually one to three meters. And trees, they are quite tall, generally more than three meters in height. Nature of stems. In case of herbs, the nature of stems are green, tender stems with few branches. In case of shrubs, they are hard stem but not very thick. Branches arise profusely from the base of the stem. In case of trees, the stems are hard and very thick with branches on the upper part of the stem. Lifespan. Herbs have a lifespan of few months to one year. Shrubs, they survive for several years. When we talk about trees, they survive for more than 10 years. Some common examples of herbs are basil, coriander, mint, mustard, grass, tomato. In case of shrubs, the examples are bougainvillea, rose plant, jasmine plant, lemon and henna. In case of trees, neem, banyan, coconut, mango tree, flame tree that is also called as gulmohar, palm are examples of trees. Now let's study about some plants called climbers and creepers. What are climbers? Plants with weak stems, those take support and climb up are called climbers. They either twin around the support or have a specialized path called tendrils to twin around the support and sometimes have adhesive roots for attachment. What are tendrils? A slender thread-like structure of a climbing plant often growing into a spiral form that stretches out and twins around any suitable support is called a tendril. Some common examples of climbers are honeysuckle, morning glory, grapevine, cucumber, pea plant, money plant, jasmine, etc. Let's talk about creepers. These are plants which have soft, weak and green stems and hence cannot stand straight and instead spread on the ground. Very common examples of creepers are watermelon, and pumpkin. Now let's classify the plants based on their lifespan. Plants are classified into three types based on their lifespans called annuals, biennials, and perennials. What are annuals? Annuals are plants that complete their life cycle in one year or one season. They germinate, grow, bear fruits and die off within an year. Generally, all herbs and plants belonging to the grass family exhibit this type of life cycle. Very common examples are mustard, watermelon, corn, lettuce, wheat, paddy. These are few examples of annual plants. Biennials. Biennials are plants that complete their life cycle in two years or two seasons. They germinate, develop vegetative parts like roots, stem and leaves in the first year. In the second year, they yield flowers and bear fruit. A few herbs are also classified as biennials, including spinach. Along with spinach and other herbs, biennials include carrot, cabbage, petunia, radish, onions, etc. Perennials. Perennials are plants which complete their life cycle in many years. Once they grow, they start to be of flowers, produce fruits, seeds, and the cycle continues for a longer period of time. 
They do not die after bearing fruits, but renew their parts season after season. Along with a few shrubs, trees are also classified into perennials. The common examples are mango, guava, neem, coconut, palm, banyan, gulmohar, etc. Classification of plants based on bearing of flowers. Plants that produce flowers are called flowering plants. Reproduction takes place within a flower, which contains both male and female reproductive organs, or among different flowers and results in seeds. Examples, lemon, apple, roses, hibiscus, marigold, bougainvillea, flame tree, etc. Some plants do not bear flowers, but they can reproduce. These type of plants are called non-flowering plants. The examples are moss, fern, etc. These plants reproduce through spores and sometimes they produce seeds. But in either case, the plant don't have flowering stage. The common examples are cypress, fern, pines, etc. With this, we end up module 1. Thank you students. We will be back again with another module. Till then, take good care of yourself.